It's very good to have you back as we continue our discussion this morning. It is Good Morning, Anambra, your favorite TV show. Well, I'm still here at Ibero Gunna together with... I'm Chidima Oramwa. It's good to have you. It's still Good Morning, Anambra. And we will be talking about uh, increasing women participation in politics. After all, we are in the political era and it has been uh, said over the time that women are not really well represented in politics. And today, we'll be right here discussing on how we increase the number of women who are to be interested in politics. And with us in the studio is Honorable Bridget Obi, former Commissioner of Women's Affairs, Anambra State. You're welcome to Good Morning, Anambra. Thank you very much, viewers. All right, you are a woman, and mm -hmm. I know that you are also interested in politics. But now, my question is, um, why is it important that we really, really need women to be involved in politics in Nigeria? Um, well, um, it is very important um, all over the world, not just in Nigeria. Uh, women are part of the society. Women, um, family, you know, uh, their needs are different. Um, because um, we, when it comes to governance, uh, it is about needs. So the needs of women are different because they are caregivers. The needs of men are different. So when it comes to um, uh, uh, government, government is the sole developer of different sectors of the economy. So for example, if I want, just want to um, cite one or two examples, if in a community um, that's a need, the man's need may be different. He may say, oh, build a town hall for us. Town hall, um, uh, you know, where they will go for meeting and things like that. If you ask a woman, oh, please give us a maternity award. We don't have what maternity. Uh, when women want to deliver, they have to go to the next village. You know, so if you give us the, you know, so that is the kind of need I talk All about. Right. All yes. right, we, we'll go on a short break right now, but when we come back, we'll know what we need to do or how we need to help women to come out on mass and participate in politics. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. It has come to the knowledge of the Anambra state government that a fast-growing number of political parties and their candidates participating in the 2019 general election boldly claim that Governor William Biano has endorsed them. To make the claim look authentic, many have published in their campaign posters, flyers and banners their pictures with Governor Biano. Many of the photographs were taken with the governor at public functions, churches, etc., often without the governor knowing about them. Some of these parties and their candidates pledged to Ndianambra that once they win, they will publicly declare support for Governor Obiano and join or rejoin the All Progressives Grand Alliance ABGA as the case may be. Some of the candidates have even forged statements purportedly made by the Anambra State Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment, Mr. C. Dawn Adenoba, supporting their candidatures. The statements often appear in poorly written English. The Anambra State Government wishes to state categorically that the claims by the parties and politicians are false, misleading and disingenuous. Governor Biano endorses only Abga candidates in the forthcoming election. As the APGA national leader and chairman of the APGA board of trustees, he cannot endorse candidates contesting on the platforms of other political parties. All in the Anambra should, therefore, disregard the claim by the politicians that Chief Obiano has endorsed them when they are not APGA candidates. These politicians want to use Chief Obiano's immense popularity to hoodwink Anambra state voters and make them vote for candidates other than those of APGA. Though the overwhelming majority of our people are too discerning and sophisticated to fall prey to this trick, it is important to bring to the fore the grand design by people seeking public office by all means to cajole in their number. This trick is nothing less than 419 because the perpetrators want to obtain power through false pretense. For the often time, the good people of Anambra State are encouraged to vote only Abga so that the ongoing excellent work in various facets of our existence will continue. Anambra State has now become about the most competitive state in Nigeria and the most peaceful and stable in the country. 
Ndianambra will not tolerate anything which can disrupt the present development trajectory. God bless Anambra State, the light of the nation. Announcer, Mr. C. Dawn Adenoba, Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment. All right, you're welcome back. And we've been joined by Mrs. Morino Okekenta, a politician. You're welcome to Good Morning, Anna. Thank you very much. All right, we've been talking on how we can increase women participation in, in politics. And you are a politician. And then from scale of 1 to 100, how would you rate women participation in politics in this part of the world? Thank you very much. We have low turnout of women in politics due to their husband. Their husband doesn't allow some of them to come out to politic because they see it as a dirty game. And those godly women in our society shy away from coming out to politics due to they see it as a dirty game, leaving some dubious and questionable character to come out to lead us. It's improper. Women should come out to allow people, because some of our women have the, the leadership quality. They have leadership quality. Their husband should add, add, allow them by financing them, then Supporting them, All right, you're talking and, about reasons why women don't participate in politics. But I just asked the, the rates how will you rate women participation in politics? And you said we have a low turnout. Yes, we All right, we'll still come back to all you are saying right now. But we don't have the gist alone. We are going out to the street to fill the polls of the people as regards women participation in politics. Encouragement to participate in politics by supporting them because well, some women are financially unstabilized and they can't really as in they can't really go to the point of partaking in the elections and another crucial point is enlightening them that is mass enlightenment because well, ignorance is a very bad disease so and it's rampant in this our country many women do not even know anything about election or politics they just know that we have a president. They don't know the procedures and all this. So I think that it means I wish to encourage them by enlightening them on the importance with their native language. Because when we use this English, some of them don't even understand it. We can encourage women to participate in politics in many ways. One, before the eyes of God, all we are all equal. The women are just the helpmates, which invariably means the same opportunity that is being given to men ought to be given to women both financially, spiritually, and otherwise. The women, yes, they are meant to take care of the home, but a woman who makes the home can also make the state and as well make the nation. One of the ways I think women should be encouraged to participate in politics is that uh, I think they need to be enlightened because uh, I think it's more of a mindset thing with respect to Nigeria because certain things are, are the, the mind view of most women with regards to their participation in politics is something else. So I, I think it's more of an enlightenment thing. They should be given an awareness of their role in government and that they can be part of government and that they can be part of politics. The enlightenment uh program support and uh, encouragement anywhere you put a woman be rest assured that thing will go well naturally we are endowed women are so organized women are doesn't they don't give in easily to things that distract other men so when we come into politics I know we will do better we will organize things we are homemakers we make nations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know that our Nigerian men, they look at women as something not equal to them. So, in politics, they see women as they have soft brain, they cannot perform. So, as such, women campaigning, they would rather tell you to go to the kitchen. Eh? that you cannot make it. So sometimes it makes women to shy away from what they ought to do. 
If that slogan will be somehow removed, women will come out more. All right, glad to have you back and uh, you've heard it from the people what they think or what the few are the reasons why women don't really participate in politics. And uh, I want you to react, you heard to what people right there said uh, about uh, well, women participation um, in politics. So I want you to react to their own views. Well, I think that their views, you know, yes, majority of them is family. Uh, some of them is me, uh, um, how, the bringing up, how we are brought up in the family how women have been nurtured in the church. They say that women are under, we don't have, you know, so all these um, things we have learned when we are growing up. The funny part is the one that said that women have soft Some brain. brain, yeah, that we are weaker <laughs> sex. Yeah, that's right. actually, we have been made to, to, to believe that when we are growing up. Or uh, women will not be heard. The church will teach you a woman is under your husband. Mm. So all these things are things that women has grown up. So if you talk about leadership, first of all, they are submit under that thing they have learned no, as something. You, you, mm. Your own personal view, what do you think are the challenges, the things that are really, really hindering women from uh, coming well, out to participate fully? In I politics? think that, you know, from the onset of how the polit uh, politics we are established in Nigeria, women, we are more or less being mobilized as voters and that is why even today when you go to the grassroots a woman gets his pvc or he knows that that day of election he will go to vote and you know that women also the learned ones because for you to go into leadership you have to have adequate education it is recently that educated women now started coming out to look at politics as a profession to, if you're a doctor, you can be a politician. If you're a, 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 um, a lawyer, you can be a politician. So now we are looking at politics as a profession, not just, oh, come and vote. And you can see that gradually, those ones that has been able to have adequate education, know their rights, they are st stepping out, they are being voted for. They are remaining, even when they, they are not only voting, voted for, they are also aspiring to be part of governance. And these things also make them to now see the benefits of being in governance, the benefit of being elected, things that accrue, the power that accrue from it, the resources that accrue from it. So these things are also building. In the last, uh, in this third republic, which have lasted from 1999, you see, women come and go. Women come and go. They come into election, they go. Some of them, because actually, uh, from the door they entered, for example, oh, uh, uh, um, this is my wife. Put her because it's my wife. So if it's your wife and you now say, put her, and she was put, tomorrow, no, I'm not going to be, because she is wiser. Remove her. She's removed. <laughs> All right. So, um, let, okay, good. So let's come to you. Uh, when you look at women's participation in politics now, you said earlier on that uh, you, we have a low turnout to, you know, women coming out to participate. Now, what do you think are the common goals or less common goals that uh, can help, methods that can help urge women to come out en masse, to get involved, not just in the political aspect, because like you said, you said everybody feels politics is a dirty game, is where people come to embezzle, loot money, but you know, forgetting the, the, the main aim of why people get into politics, to lead the people right, and of course, give good governance. So what should be done to enable more women come out, participate into politics positively? Thank you very much. Women should be given level ground so that they will come out to politic. Because if you, doesn't, you don't give women the level ground between women and men, it, they shy away from it. And secondly, the um, propaganda, you know the propaganda they use on women, mm. especially when the men uh, counterparts see you as a, a knight, that's a, a, threat. a threat. She will use your name she will, that is, the way she will blackmail you mm. just to uh, remove the focus you have. And make you feel less yes. of, a, of a human being. Yes, because mm. so, one of my your husband brother said that if you want to go into politics and if you want to contest, just 
use leaf to cover two, two of your ears because what you'll be hearing well, will make you to uh, uh, yes it's a woman as a woman because the main part of it we make sure that they pull you down the way you're sounding it looks as if you actually have experienced something like that of course, she's a i'm contested 2015 now okay. and uh, you you you, you, uh, you experienced the, i've experienced all these things i'm saying i've experienced it so the propaganda and um, a lot of uh, um, ethnic, ethnicity that is women are mainly they see women as they are the that is one one president that told people that his wife she should man kitchen and the other rooms. It's not the way they degrade women. All right, you know, you know you can go on and on and on, <laughs> but I will give I will give both one minute because time is not our friend. We have to move. So what do we what do we have to do now? What are the way forward to ensure that women get um, actively involved in politics? This form, a nomination form, we have to give women nomination form free of charge without taxing them because it's, this nomination form because when they say. Pay nomination from 200,000. How can women afford 200,000? And the women of our type, the women, the ladies that have money, have power, they have in power, to, have to sponsor to them. Okay. They have to sponsor those women because they want to come out. So that they will eliminate every poverty, everything that is... Uh, All right, you've, you, you've made your point. Mommy, in mm -hmm. one minute, what's the way forward? Uh, I think that the greatest uh, uh, thing that will protect women is legisl uh, legislation. We have said that 30% it should be reserved for women. So let that, immediately that is done and the political parties adhere to it. It gives women that cushion until we are able to actually compete uh, 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 favorably with the men. So uh, legislation is very important and to, for men also because some men, men are not Sponsorship is another thing. Let men sponsor women that are that they feel are capable. And finally, the the, the, at the grassroots women. Since we don't have uh, councillors or election at the grassroots again, it has limited a lot of women chances who for women. chances who are at the community level mm -hmm. because at the community level, women are church mobilizers, mm -hmm. and so women that are not high flyers can actually get into All legislation right. so these are part at that of the level. challenges why some women are, are not to win yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. because yeah. they don't really want to come out for the big, big one, ones like they, want, uh, they, they can do the ones right. within their community right. where people know them okay. and it is cheaper too All right. for them thank to you contest. so much honorable bridget Obi, former welcome. commissioner of women's affairs and number of states thank, thank you for coming thank and you. also you mrs maureen okekenta a politician Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. All right, uh, from my colleague. Well, this is the much we have for you on Good Morning and Amber today. We want to believe you had a wonderful time hanging loose with us. I'm a Barry Ugonna. And I am Chidima Orama. Thank you so much for staying with us today. And remember to go and collect your PVC if you've not done so.